First off thank you to everyone who was very understanding during my issues with YouTube last week. If I ever miss an upload check my community tab and I'll usually provide an explanation or update. And if you missed the my thoughts on Boys Planet episode 12 video, you can find it in my TikTok at anyhow8 or through the links in the description box. Also thank you so much to everyone who submitted a confession. I wasn't expecting to get this many responses. Even if I didn't put your response in the video, I probably still read it and I definitely appreciate it. Alright time to react to your Boys Planet confessions. Pause to read if you need to. Starting off strong with a very unpopular opinion. Honestly, I really don't get this one. Zhang Hao is my one peak all throughout Boy's Planet and is now my bias in ZB1. I have no idea how you haven't clicked with him, but I hope you realize all his charms soon. That intro was so funny. Here's the video in case you all don't remember. <laughs> I really could see Gunwook as a Twitch streamer. He would diff bring on Guvian and Jun Hyun as guests sometimes. I totally agree with this. Zihao always got many views on his fan camps, and his fans completed all the support benefits. Can you imagine his rank if he actually got screen time? I saw a lot of people saying similar things. It's a shame he didn't get any vocal positions until the very last performance. Haruto would have absolutely killed Jelly Pop, and you can't tell me otherwise. Also, yes, I definitely agree that minors should not debut for the reasons you stated. Just because many idols debuted at a very young age doesn't mean it's okay. Many of them say they regret debuting so young. I couldn't agree more. Notice how Kita was robbed of M Countdown for both of these performances. It would have been so interesting if Net debuted 12 in ZB1 instead of 9. Like adding Jay, Fanbin, and Kita would have totally changed things up. And yes, I think it would be great if ZB1 had music similar to Jelly Pop. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people did appreciate these two's talents, but there just weren't enough people who voted for them to help them debut. I really hope they're both able to debut sometime soon though. This is so real I feel like I watch Jelly Pop Zhang Hao from at least 20 different angles. Also I love how you submitted Jelly Nuna as your name. Here's the answer breakdown of the first optional question. It makes sense that Hao is first, but I didn't expect Gumwook to be second. Here's the answer breakdown of the second optional question. I feel like this one is pretty expected. No cause, it was really so sad when they panned to Jun Hai in crying. When Gunwook mentioned him in his speech, I agree there were so many rumors and hateful comments on social media and it was so weird because I remember at the beginning of the show I barely saw any negative comments about Matthew like everyone seemed to love him but then Net started editing him in a negative light and that's when the hate comments started to roll in. I feel like Guvin is one of the members who is close to pretty much everyone in ZB1. He's like everyone's mutual friend. Also, I never thought of how Guvin will be a huge support to Eugene after debut. But you're completely right. Here's their full response in case you're curious. Soon one was yet another crazy talented person who didn't even make it to the finale. Also I'm really curious why they didn't do Planet Pass this season. Even though they did it last season. This is a really interesting take. Honestly, I have no vocal knowledge whatsoever so I can't really say. But if you have vocal experience, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. This makes total sense. I think Net started giving Camden screen time too late when international fans already had most of their picks established. So Camden was mostly carried by Korean votes. I see what you're saying, but I think both CB1 and Enna had their close and awkward duos when they debuted and then became closer as time went on. I am especially excited to see how An Ji Woon become closer and finally beat the co-worker allegations. I get this. I feel like different people should get the killing parts of each song based on what suits them the best and there shouldn't necessarily be a fixed center. Here's their full response in case you're curious. Well. This is certainly the first time I've seen someone say that. This is definitely a confession confession. Gunwook did powerful concepts throughout most of the show, but he's really good at cute concepts too. I hope we can see more of that in ZB1. I completely agree with this. Net loves to market their groups as global, but then it seems like during the show, they wanted anyone but the global trainees to debut. If Kita debuted alongside the other three foreigners, I think Net would be more justified in calling them a global group. Oh, I really hope you're not writing explicit stuff about the underage members, at least. 
Okay this one was really long, but I agree with most of it, especially the part about Hui. Also thank you so much for the compliment at the end. Wamuti is too talented, to be lost to Nugadam. I really hope he officially debuts soon, because I don't know how much longer he can keep on doing just covers. It's a shame that Over Me was only 5 members. It would have been so cool to see Kita perform it. Also yes I will keep saying that Zoom team was robbed even though that happened months ago. The fact that the only time we saw Ricky do a cute concept was when he did say my name on the pajama live is a crime we need to see more. I think almost everyone agrees that Shenbin should be a part of ZB1's dance line. He is seriously just too good. Also yes the computer science concept is throwing me off too. I haven't seen many people talk about Soongon but yes, him and Pa can been deserve better. Also thank you for the compliments, I'm glad you enjoy my videos. Not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical of Boy's Planet at first too, but I eventually became obsessed with it as you can probably already tell. Also happy birthday. Okay y'all that's it for the confessions. I had fun making this so I would love to know what you thought. Next week I'll be starting my new series. Drawing my ZB1 superhero are you. And the first member I'll be drawing is Ricky. So please come back for that. <laughs> <laughs>